What is going on you guys? Steve with a quick video for you today. So today is going to be a PC video. As you can see, I kind of changed the background up a little bit. No more of the Cubs throw blanket. Just kind of got some fun, kind of like common cards behind there. But we still got the Chris Bryants in front of those. So let's dig into the video here. Here we got the 1958 Topps Bob Lemon card. And this one's autographed. You can see the autograph right there, right by his face, kind of, or by his mouth. Bring it up a little bit closer there where you can see it. So, uh, quick story with Bob Lemon. I remember John Mangini was showing a Bob Lemon card, and I kind of made the comment saying Bob Lemon's one of my favorite players to kind of, you know, study up on and learn about for vintage players-wise. And he responded back with, how come uh, Bob Lemon? Well, this, and he already knows it, but I'll tell you guys is the answer is easy. I just kind of like the last name Lemon. Growing up in high school, I just always, I don't know, I just kind of found the name Lemon really fun, so yeah, he's one of my favorite guys that's not a cubby to kind of read up, read up on, so here is the 58 Lemon autograph card, and we will continue with Bob Lemon. Here is his 1952 Topps card. Beautiful looking card, I love the 52, and uh, Bob Lemon was a seven-time All-Star, a two-time World Series champion, and he led the American League in wins in 1950, 1954, and 1955. He had 207 career wins, a 3.23 ERA, 1,277 strikeouts, and he was inducted to the Hall of Fame in 1976. He was also a, a manager for some time as well. But yeah, here is the 52 tops of Bob Lemon. Just beautiful looking guard. Going on to one of the most iconic players in Major League Baseball history. Here is the 1954 tops of Jackie Robinson. Uh, one of the greats to play the game. And, you know, I've talked a lot about Jackie Robinson in the past. And one thing I've never uh, brought up is April 15th is Jackie Robinson Day in Major League Baseball. That's the day that everybody wears the number 42 on their jersey. So there is the 54 tops of Jackie Robinson. Moving on to the 1960s, here we got the 1960 Topps rookie card of Willie McCovey. So Willie McCovey, uh, he had a 270 career batting average, 2,211 hits, 521 home runs, 1,555 RBIs. He was a six-time All-Star and National League MVP in 1969. So there is his rookie card. And to top it off, we'll go with this rookie All-Star card as well. You don't see this one getting shown very often in... Uh, in videos but I also have this one and his number 44 was retired by the Giants he was inducted the Hall of Fame in 1986 so there is the 60 rookie all-star card of Willie McCovey staying in the 1960s here is the 1962 tops card of uh, Sandy Koufax nicknamed left arm of God and some people think that, you know, during his actual peak, which only lasted maybe three or four years, he was considered one of the greatest pitchers to ever play the game of baseball, as you know, as a pitcher. So here is the 62 top Sandy Koufax. Going on to the 1972 tops card of Joe Morgan. Um, some consider him the second, the greatest second baseman of all time. I always put Ryan Sambry in there just because, uh, you know, being a Cubbies fan. But I remember him as the voice of Sunday Night Baseball for many years, and he was inducted to the Hall of Fame in 1990. Here we got the 1975 Topps rookie card of Gary Carter. There's a Gary Carter up there in the corner. And uh, Gary Carter was an 11-time All-Star. He had a 262 career batting average, 324 home runs, 1,225 RBIs. He was an 11-time All-Star, a three-time Gold Glove Award winner, and he was inducted to the Hall of Fame in 2003. So, you know, very, very good stats for a catcher. Here we got the 1985 George Brett card. Um, I've said a lot about George Brett, you know, being a, a Nebraska guy. He's a huge fan favorite out here, being not that far from Kansas City. One of the greats from the Kansas City Royals. Here we got the uh, 1987 Donruss rookie card of Will the Thrill Clark. Um... Probably my favorite Will Clark rookie card out there. I also like his 1987 tops a lot, too. I like it more than his 86 traded. 
here we got the 1994 top stadium club it's like a gold see down there the piazza is kind of like a gold it's hard to read that there with the with the light but uh yeah really cool looking uh, piazza card and uh one of the one of the best catchers to play the game as well here we got a pretty cool card here is a uh 1996 upper deck rock solid foundation of Carlos Delgado. Interesting case with Delgado, in my opinion, is uh, he had a 280 career batting average, 2,038 hits, 473 home runs, 1,512 RBIs, and he was a two time All Star. He was so close to 500 home runs, but yet you never hear about his name being brought up as a possible Hall of Fame consideration. I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on that and why. You know, those his just base stats are pretty dang good, in my opinion. Here we got the 2005 Topps Chrome rookie card of Ian Kinsler. A very solid infielder throughout his career, and uh, I was always a big Ian Kinsler fan. Not my favorite, but didn't dislike the guy either. Here we got the, uh, the 2006 Topps, like, 1952 design of uh, Brian Wilson. Brian Wilson, this kind of a cool clean cut uh, image of him. You know, he's known as having that really big beard. And uh, he only played, I don't know, maybe what, eight or nine years in Major League Baseball, but he was lights out when he played. I think he had some serious elbow injuries that kind of derailed his career. And here we got the 2011 Tops. Uh, I call it the Cognic Diamond Anniversary card of Buster Posey. And uh, I think the Hall of Fame might be in his future. We'll see what happens. Here we got a 2013 uh, Cut to the Chase, Ricky Henderson. And we'll do a few more cards here. Here we got the uh, 2016 Trey Turner, Allen and Ginter rookie card. Nice looking card. The 2016 Topps Chrome rookie card of Rel Mondesi. And we'll end it with the, uh, this guy's put together one heck of a year so far, but nobody ever talks about this guy. Here's the 2018 Tops Fire Rookie Card of Ryan McMahon. So that's it today, guys, and I appreciate you guys watching. Take care and stay safe. Thanks again.